I'm Mechanical Engineer and this is the Techno Tie. So I designed the Techno Tie to look like a futuristic tie. You know when you watch the old movies and they always portray people of the future as wearing really weird clothing? Well I figured we're in the future now, so I took it upon myself to build my own weird clothing. So if you haven't noticed already, the Techno Tie is built out of clear acrylic plastic with LEDs lined on the inside and the whole tie is powered off by one 9 volt battery which we keep in the top not part of the tie. But without further ado, I will show you guys how I built the Techno Tie. So the first thing I did to construct the Techno Tie was I got a piece of acrylic plastic like this. Once I had my plastic, I found a necktie I had lying around and I folded it into the length of the tie that I wanted to make. I then laid it onto the acrylic plastic and traced out the shape of it using a sharpie marker. I used this as a template to cut out two identical pieces. The easiest way I find to do this is by taking a second piece of acrylic, setting it on top of your first one, and then cutting the two out as if they were one piece. Once you have your two tie pieces cut out, you want to cut out two more identical pieces, only this time it's going to be the knot that sits at the top of your tie. You're going to want to cut out in this general shape, it's not very specific, just roughly the same shape, and make sure that the bottom of your knot is longer than the top of your tie. Next I took an LED strip and I measured the width of the strip and I cut out a piece of acrylic just barely wider than the LED strip, as you can see here. You'll want to cut out four pieces of the acrylic, two of them to go along the sides of your tie, and then the last two to make the bottom point of your tie. Now since we have most of our cutting done, we can go ahead and remove the plastic covering that's protecting our acrylic. We'll then want to take some metal repair duct tape and tape on the bottom of one of the tie pieces. That way when the LEDs light up, they'll be able to shine off of the silver. So once we roughly have the tape on, we can then go ahead and flip it over and cut away using the box cutter any of the overhanging tape. And there you go. The tape's not perfect, but it is very shiny. Now the next step is not very easy, but it is very important. So we don't want to glue our plastic pieces onto the tape, because then the tape could peel off and there goes our bond. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to have to take this piece of plastic hold it up against the very side of it and then take our box, our box cutter and cut along the line of that so we can peel off the very corner of the tape and then glue this plastic to plastic. So a somewhat easy way to do this is to take your tie, push it up some kind of an edge or a ledge here and then take a sample piece of acrylic, put it up against the ledge also and then cut along it with a box cutter. Using that technique, it's really not too hard to cut those little strips off. So now we can take the plastic pieces that we've cut for the sides, and we can now go ahead to glue them all in place. And there we go, they are all glued in place. So next you want to take your LED strip and go ahead and cut out the length of LEDs that you need, just like I have done right here. Once you have your LEDs cut out, you can go ahead and solder two leads to the positive and negative side of one of the strips. I just soldered my leads to the LED strip and now I can very carefully pull off this piece of paper and stick the LED strip to the inside of the necktie. Now I'm probably going to take some super glue and I'm going to glue these wires onto the Lexan so, or the plastic so it doesn't go anywhere and then I'm probably going to also put a few uh, strategic drops of glue along the LED strip just to make sure that it never comes unstuck. And so now once you've finished uh, gluing on your LEDs and wires, you can now go ahead and glue on the top part of your tie. And now once you've done that, the bottom part of your tie is now complete and we can move on to the next step. So next you'll want to take your two knot pieces and you'll want to glue the sides on one of the knot pieces like I did here. The thickness of these walls is just a little bit thicker than the 9 volts. And if you notice, I did not put any plastic on top. That way we can slip the 9 volt inside there, keep our power source in there when we wear the tie. Not only did I not put plastic at the bottom, but I left a little bit of gap from the end of the sidewall to the bottom of the base plate. The idea behind this is that we're hoping to tie this onto this using either a piece of string or rope or maybe even a zip tie. So that when you wear this, this can kind of sway back and forth and give it just a little bit more of a natural effect. So once you've glued the sides onto your knot, you can go ahead and set your tie right inside the knot, right where you want it to hang. Get another piece of acrylic and cut it out so that it can sit in the frame just above that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole right here 
for the wires to poke through. And then we're going to drill two small holes, one right on top of the other, so that a micro zip tie can fit through them. Just like that. And make sure that your wire hole is plenty big enough so that your wires have room to move back and forth when your tie swings. I just glued mine in. And now what we're going to do is we're going to drill another small hole, only this time in the back of this tie right here in the center. Now you just want to drill through the back of this one. Do not drill through the top part of the tie. And there we go. I just drilled my hole and it's just large enough to fit a little tiny micro zip tie inside of it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and slip the tiny zip tie through the bottom hole. Go ahead so I'll put the wires through the wire hole and then wrap the little zip tie through this bottom hole and then over the top hole and then zip tie it together. And here we go, and you can just pull it as tight as you want your tie to be. So now you can take the top part of your knot and just set it right on top of the bottom part. And now take your switch and mark where you want your switch to go. I'm probably not going to put mine in the center since the zip tie is right there. I'm going, probably going to put it off to the side just a little bit like that. Now once you have it marked, just go ahead and drill out a hole large enough for your switch to fit into. Okay, so here's my hole. And of course, if you guys want to go with the smaller switch, you could. You could even put it off to the side. But I like the big giant toggle switch in the front of the tie. I just think it adds a lot more character to it. But regardless, once you have your, your hole drilled, go ahead and tape the top part of that with metal repair duct tape, just like we did the tie. And then shave away any extras on the side and inside the hole. And here we go, looks pretty good. So now you can go ahead and put your switch inside and feel free to glue it down if you think you need to. So congratulations, we are almost done. All we have to do now is wire it. Now wiring is very simple. All you have to do is solder the positive wire to the outside lead of your switch and then solder the positive wire of your nine volt connector to the middle lead of your switch. And then just solder the two negative leads together. Just like that. So now we can go ahead, put the 9 volt clip sticking out the top, close everything up carefully, and then glue it all in place. And so now once your top is glued on, you can go ahead, connect your 9 volt in, and just go ahead and slide it right into the top of your tie. And now there's only two things left to do and your tie is completely done. Number one is just cut out small strips of metal repair duct tape and tape the sides of the knot. And then number two, make the clip for the back of your tie. To make the clip, I took a piece of very thin aluminum, about three quarters of an inch wide, and I cut it to a four inch strip. I folded that strip into a clip shape, kind of like this. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to glue the back side of this to the back side of our tie. And then once you've done that, kabam, the techno tie is done. So I've tested it out and the Techno Tie should be able to run off one 9 volt battery for no less than 5 hours. So it has a really good run time. And I know it's kind of a silly build, but honestly I think I'm going to start wearing this around occasionally just to see how people react to see my uh, awesome new Techno Tie. But hey, thank you so much for you guys watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And Lord willing, I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching and please feel free to subscribe.